In this tutorial, we're going to see what a first Tinkercad class could be like by creating a final product after having followed and learned the most basic functions of this application. So let's begin. Let's go to Designs, New, 3D Design. To begin with, we're going to insert two boxes and one roof. It's important to learn how to use the zoom by using the wheel of your mouse or by using these buttons. Using the wheel is way more comfortable. Also, it's important to change perspective. To do that, you have to press and hold the right button of your mouse and now move the mouse. And that way you can see the object from different perspectives, which is very easy, but also very useful. Also, we're going to learn how to move the work plane. To do so, you have to press and hold your shift key on your keyboard and also press and hold the right button of your mouse and that way you will be able to move it. We can also move the object on the work plane. You can use the left button of your mouse or also the arrow keys on your keyboard if you want smaller and more precise movements. We can also change the length, the width and the height of an object by using all this as well as rotating the object in any direction but using these arrows here. If we want to delete an object, we can use this bean or we can press delete on the keyboard. All right, so now let's imagine we work in a company in which the boss has told us to create a very, very, very specific 3D design. In this case, the length and the width of this box has to be 25 millimeters. So how do we do it? We click here, we click on this number and we set 25 and here the same, we type in 25 and he or she has told us that the height has to be 20. Okay, it's 20 millimeters. So the box is done. Now let's go to the roof. The base of the roof has to be the same. 25 millimeters and 25 millimeters and the height okay we're gonna use this has to be 15 millimeters again we can click there or by pressing holding and dragging the mouse upwards we can get that okay so now we have these two and the next step is lift this roof as the height of this box is 20 millimeters we have to lift it 20 millimeters as well. If you are able to do it by using the mouse, that's great, 20 millimeters. But if you are not, you can also click here, type in 20, and this is the height we desire. After that, we're going to learn how to select two objects at a time. There are two options. By using the left button of your mouse, you can create a kind of box which includes both objects and now they both are selected or you can also click on one you press and hold shift we're going to use this key very often and now you click on the other one and now both are selected now if you move one you're moving both of them but what are we going to do now now we're going to use an advanced function of tinkercad which is very useful which is align you can also press l Let's click on a line and look, if I place the cursor on the circle and I click, that's what I get. And now we only need to click here and I have a perfect house. Also, it is very interesting to select them again and use this function, which is group. By clicking here, now this object has turned into one and if you want to keep the original colors, you click on solid and here you select multicolor. Now we're going to create a hole here, which is going to simulate a kind of door that will go through the house. To do so, we take this box, which is a hole, or also you can take a normal box 
and you select hole here. Let's change these measures. Let's place it here and to align it perfectly we can use what we have learned before. Align and we click here and now let's take this box and from here we're gonna pierce the house and now we select these two and we group. What is gonna happen? Now the house has a door that goes from one side to the other. Finally, we're gonna learn how to change the size of an object without deforming it, because if we change from here, you see we deform it completely. So what key we'll have to press? Exactly, Shift. Pressing and holding Shift and pulling from any of these ones, okay? We're going to change the size, we're gonna resize this object, but it's gonna keep its proportions. And last but not least, we're gonna learn how to duplicate. So let's place the house there. And now we're gonna use this or Control D to duplicate. When you click there, it looks like nothing has happened. But if you use the arrow keys, for example, here we have another house. And now if we press this here, the third house will appear at the same distance the second is from the first. Look. And the same with the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, and the seventh. How can I fill this work plane fast? I can select all this, duplicate, and now look, easy PC. And if we duplicate again, here we have our village. And this is everything I wanted to explain to you guys today. As you see, we have created a village. We have used all the different functions that we need to know in Tinkercad when we start designing in this tool. So I hope you liked this video and you can put it into practice and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.